but uh, I can play a chord or two. You say potato, I say potato. You say tomato, I say tomato. No, you don't. <laughs> Nobody says tomato. <laughs> Unless your first language is Latin based, nobody says tomato. And nobody fucking says potato, all right? I mean, maybe if you're down south, you know? You say potato, I say tater. You say tomato, I say tomato. I mean, at least those are words people say. Are they real words? I don't know. I'm not a linguist. That's not up to me. But it's real shit that people say in, you know, life. You know? And you can't really translate that song well either. You can't really do like a French bistro, you know? You say potato, I say pomme de terre. It just it doesn't, quite, doesn't quite work. You know? I always wanted to be a jazz singer, you know? That smooth. I mean, if I could, I would Michael Buble your panties to the floor. <laughs> But my voice is just too rough, it's just too wrecked from scotch and coffee and stuff, so I just don't have that kind of voice. But you know, jazz lyrics are kind of bullshit anyway. Because that, that song, if you don't know, that song is called Let's Call the Whole Thing Off. And the first verse is uh, something to the effect of, You say potato, I say potato, you say tomato, I say tomato, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, let's call the whole thing off. So what is that song? The person singing is in a relationship that's over, but he doesn't have the fucking balls to just say, look, I'm not feeling this, let's take a break. So he makes up a bunch of bullshit excuses as to why they're not compatible, you know? You say words right and I mispronounce shit on purpose. We're just not compatible. I mean, at least he's nice enough to say it's not you, it's me, you know? You have a firm grasp over the English language and I can't even pronounce potato, potato, Fuck it, give me back my key. <laughs> Which is how the song should go, if we're being honest, right? Fuck it, we're done. Give me back the key to my apartment. <laughs> I'll mail you the phone bill, your shit's on the sidewalk. Let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I'll be here every Friday for the rest of the week. And here's one such example. It's one of my favorite I Still Love You songs. Hello, yeah, it's been a while. What's up? Wanna screw? <laughs> That's right, it's a booty call. Cause, babe, I sure miss the things we used to do. Now I was thinking maybe later on. You and me, we could go for a ride. Maybe finally try anal sex. Look, I picked up some astro -clide. I'm not talking about moving in. Our relationships in the past. But there's a tingling stirring up down below. And I really wanna get on that ass. <laughs> We could go driving, maybe stop and park For a hand job down by the beach Stay at home and just Netflix and chill See, it really doesn't matter much to me I'm not trying to rekindle shit There's just stuff we never tried in the past Like maybe role play a three-way or s and I just really wanna get on that ass I won't ask for promises, so you won't have to lie. Except if you're fucking someone new, to not pretend I'm the only guy. I'm not talking about moving in, our relationships in the past. But baby, since we broke up, it's kind of strange. I just really want to get on that, really want to get on that. I don't want to hang with your friends And dig up all that shit from the past I'll make you coffee and breakfast then out the door I just really want to get on that
WGBC Public Radio would like to thank you for tuning in to our Spring Pledge Drive. If you enjoy music to make you feel superior <laughs> and similar programs, why not consider calling in a pledge today? For a $10 pledge, we'll send you a WGBC t-shirt, which you'll never wear, but will make you feel like you've helped every time you move it out of the way in your t-shirt drawer. <laughs> Or for a $20 pledge, how about this lovely WGBC tote to collect all of that dust and cat hair in your closet? <laughs> for a $30 donation, we'll read your personal message on the air. We'll just pretend it's not a paid commercial slot. <laughs> this is just some of the useless crap you'll receive during our spring pledge drive. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program, already half over. <laughs> Dr. Professor Ignola's Fervis Mendax Music Education Series presents... Tom Waits, Children's Hour. <laughs> Get the junkies, they need some starlight too. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Jake the snake had 32 G's, he lent to Sam the weasel. Sam came back a little bit short. Chavez. Jill took her time, didn't want to arouse suspicion. Eventually it all came out in the open like it always does. Jill's old man took it pretty well, didn't press charges. He said Jack's a good boy, a good duck, a good bullet chopper, whatever that means. A couple months later, they found Jack's body down by the quarry. And that's the story of Jack and Jim. <laughs> the brave old Captain Brown was a splendid man. He had a dark spot place of one eye and a hook for a hand. And when he was up, he was up. And when he was down, he was down. And that's when you better stay away from that man. Cause he'll spread your bones all over town. <laughs> three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. Three blind mice, three blind mice. How they run, see how they run. They all went after the farmer's wife. She cut off the tails with a carving knife. Have you ever seen such a sight in your life as three blind mice? Three blind mice. J.J. and Amber. I call it Coffee Tree. J.J. and Amber sitting in a coffee tree. H-U-G-G-I-N-G. -G -I, I can see their light inside of me. I used to be like me. Sitting alone drinking dark roast coffee. But inspiration came when you walked in. 
You both smiled so bright It was mirrored in each other when you held each other tight Made me want to find love again God damn you I nearly give it up Who nearly cares You made it seem profoundly mundane Again JJ and Amber sitting in a coffee tree. I might be wrong, maybe she drinks tea, but I can see that light inside of me. Awesome. This is from uh, the 60s. This is by Country Joe and the Fish. This is called Feel Like I'm Fixing to Die. Rag. strong men. Uncle Sam needs your help again. He's got himself in a terrible jam. Way down yonder in Vietnam. So put down your books and pick up a gun. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun. And it's one, two, three. What are we fighting for? Don't ask me. I don't give a damn. Next stop is Vietnam. And it's five, six, seven. Open up the pearly gates. Well, there ain't no time to wonder why. We'll be we're all going to die. Come on, generals, let's move fast. Your big chance is coming last. Now you can go out and get those reds, because the only good commie is the one that's dead. And you know the peace can only be won when you blow them all the kingdom come. And it's one, two, three, what are we fighting for? Don't ask me, I don't give a damn. Next stop is Vietnam. And it's five, six, seven, open up the pearly gates. Well, there ain't no time to wonder why. we be, we're all going to die. Come on, Wall Street, don't be slow. Oh man, this war will go, go. There's a lot of good money to be made by supplying the army with the tools of her trade. Just hope and pray that if they drop the bomb, they drop it on the Viet Cong. And it's one, two, three, what are we fighting for? Don't ask me, I don't give a damn. Next stop is Vietnam. And it's five, six, seven, open up the pearly gates. Well, there ain't no time to wonder why. Well, be, we're all going to die. Come on, fathers, throughout the land, pack your boys off to Vietnam. Come on, mothers, don't hesitate. You gotta send your sons off before it's too late. You can be the first ones in your block to have your boy come home in a box. And it's one, two, three, what are we fighting for? Don't ask me, I don't give a damn. Next stop is Vietnam. And it's five, six, seven, open up the pearly gates. Well, there ain't no time to wonder why. We'll be, we're all going to die. I was so alone right after World War Z Felt like I was the last man on earth I like that movie Then Jenny came along and turned her bloody eyes on me In her look, I knew what I was worth. I walked her home that night. The moonlight matched her complexion. I held her hand, it came off into my hand. So I put it in my pocket. She don't love me for my looks all in her personality. She don't love me for my bank account is flame. 
She don't love me for the car I drive or opportunity And now she loves me for other people's brains She loves me because I get her other people's brains Daddy Dutch Now this is a story you may have read How my throne got usurped and I got dead And I'd like to take a minute, just sit and hark I'll tell you how the prince did not become the king of Denmark And barely, tis some bullshit <laughs> In Elsinore Castle, born and raised, that's in Denmark, where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, no hassle, all practicing my fencing outside of the castle when my uncle Claude got up to no good. So to make a trouble in my neighborhood, my old man died, my uncle said, Don't bother grieving too much, think of us as a father. A whistle caught my ear, my man Horatio said, Do it, I saw a ghost, and it's someone you know. If anything, I could say that would be rare, but I thought, no, forget it. Yo, homes, take me there. We walked up to the battlements at 10 or 11. The guard said, Horatio, help, thank heaven. He's breaking me off, here it comes again, Mark. Sure enough, there he walked, the dead king of Denmark. <laughs> oh, shit, I gotta fill this music. Um, alas, poor ghost. Pity me not, Harris. Oh, Audible, Audible! Uh, I will call thee Helen! I don't remember this. <laughs> okay, now here's what happened. My old man died in the garden while he was napping. He was bit by a snake. At least that's what they said. Was that true? Well, only the part where he was dead. The ghost said, I don't remember the most foul. There are the more poison in my ear in the house. It's got my wife about the wrong without that tree if you could. Well, maybe I should. Yeah, of course I should. Now pay attention, here the plot gets thick. I started acting all crazy, the mad crap trick. That's when the king summoned my two friends from grammar school. Rose and Prince and Gildas to find out why I played the fool. You should have seen these guys trying to bait me. I told them how protestants of dust don't like me. I said, do you not laugh? They said, yeah. I said, why? They said, some actors are coming to do a show for you, guy. I thought that could be a real slick trick. The play's the thing we're in, I'll catch that lunatic. I'll have to do a play about the death of my dad. If my uncle do blanch, I'll know for sure I've been had. Well, they agreed we put on a play. They played the parts very well, and so did I, I must say, word. The king got nervous, crying. <laughs> Give me some she stormed out of the room, and my mom picked a fight. She asked me why I acted so mean. I told her, stop being a ho, start being a queen. I heard some look behind a curtain, and I stabbed it, but no luck, it was Polonius, not the king. Oh well, dead for a bucket. <laughs> My uncle the king sent me off on a boat in Rosencrantz and Gildersturm, remember them, with a note. For the king of Java, England, that's it. All for this hood! But I pulled the switcheroo and hopped the pirate ship instead. My girl Ophelia threw herself into the river, and to make this long story short, when her girl the Earthies called me, I didn't know what to say. I said, I didn't mean to hurt you, but let's fence anyway! I thought that we were only fencing for sport. Come to find her, his sword was dipped in poison of some sort. So was the pearl the king dropped in my cup, and my poor mother toasted me and drank the cup up. The aunt just cut my arm while she was wiping my brow, so I took his sword away and said, Whoa, well, how now? He looked scared and I got my grip. I cut him back and said, Oh, poison on the tip. Just then, someone shouted, Look to the queen! There was treachery afoot. Laertes said, Welcome, queen! It's a blood to kill you. Backfired on me. The king's to blame is all. I'm sure you blame me. See? I can't believe it. Everybody is dead. Well, defecation happens. So it's been said. The rest is silence. Everything is going dark. And that's the story of the Fresh Prince of Denmark.